Hey everyone, in this video I will explain to you how the loop view works. How is a pack structured? How can you activate the drums? How you can create nice harmonic loops together? And how to make a really nice live performance? So let's dive into it. Alright, this is Remix Live's loop view and here you can activate and deactivate your loops. So on the left side you can see for example the kick, then you have the hi-hat lineup and then another hi-hat percussion and some bass and melody and add-ons. So it's all divided into different colors so you really can see in which channel you're working. So you have eight channels. In the top you can find the tempo tab so you can change up the tempo. Each pack that you download comes with a specific tempo, but you can just change that. You can also find a harmony section, so you can select on a different harmony. And then you have a sync tab, so here you can quantize on a different timing. Let's activate the first pad. So it's a kick, and now I have the metronome running. If you want to press the metronome off, you can go back to the top and deactivate the metronome. Let's add some hi-hats. More hi-hats. Let's go in the second tab. Let's put some add-on and melody. And the nice thing is that the loops are activated within a sort of timing, so you don't have to worry about that. Some percussion. When you want to stop this whole loop, you can go to the top again where the metronome is and click on the stop button. You can change and manipulate your samples. So you go to the right side and navigate to the first tab. If you click on that, you can see there's a WAV file opening up and some other functions you can change and edit. So let's go to a hi-hat. I'm clicking on the hi-hat and you see it's activated with the white border around it and you see the wave from this sample. So let's change the hi-hat. So when I activate the hi-hat in here, you can hear it and you see the white marker is running with how the sample is played. And what you can do in here, you can stretch and change the timing of the sample. So I'm gonna click on the right marker in the bottom and I'm gonna drag it to the left side and as you can hear already, it's changing how the sample is played. So let's go back into the loop I had. On the left side, you can find fading in and fading out. So it creates a little bit of a more organic sound and you can do this with each sample. If I click double on the icon, it goes back to its original value. So in this section, you can also change the grid. So you can click on the grid edit and here you can warp it manually and you can really see how it is changing by dragging the sample to the right and the left. If I click double on the circle, you will see it goes back to its original value also again. I can also click on the buttons below and be a bit more precise. We don't need it for now, it's just running smoothly and this is how I want the sample. When I go to the second tab, just above the timeline, it opens up a new view and here you can even adjust the sample more. So you can ch uh, choose out of different play modes like a loop or even like a one shot so it's just playing one time. You can also choose out of a gate so it is just a gate sample. But if I go back to the loop, which I want, because I want that it plays continuously, I can also adjust the gain. I can change the panning to right or left. And if I'm pressing it double, it goes back to original value again. I can change the filter. I can transpose the sound. I also can adjust it by using the buttons below and, or I can reset it and it also goes back to the original value. And if you see on the right side, you can also quantize this sample in a different timing. So when I click on maybe one fourth and say I repeat it on one eighth, you hear it's changing it. Let's go back to 
the sample how it is and if I press on reverse it reverses the sample as well. Might be fun in a live performance. So then the third little icon you can find some general settings. So how long do you want the recording length is, you can choose an audio input which is can be a sound card, a different recording mode, you can choose normal overdub it, monitoring, uh, auto play and override the sample. So let's press this hi-hat off and if I go to the right side on the little file icon in the right bottom you can actually change the samples in your pack. So right now you can see there is some samples I can download or I can change with the sample I activated right now. So I will change it up with Tops Breathe and you see the little icon you can press on it and it will change the sample in there. These are the recommendations from Remix Live itself and it is uh, based on AI. So you can also go to your packs and find here different samples and you can also import your own samples in here by pressing on the import so you can browse or whatever. So now we have arrived to the end of this tutorial and you probably know a lot about the loop views and I'm super curious what you're going to make with it because you can be super creative and use different sample packs and expand it just how you like it. And in the next tutorial we're actually going to cover the drum view. How can you use it in your live setups and how can you actually work with the loop view and the drum view at the same time. So in the drum view, you can actually work with different one shots. You can play on a keyboard, you can play drums and percussion on the spot whilst you're playing loops from your loop view. So let's go to the next tutorial. <laughs>